Today I am at Coffee and Cake at Duke of London. There's so much to see. There's so many cars here today. There's this beautiful Lotus Esprit Turbo and many more. I'm going to walk you through and see what you think. So the event is actually called Classics and Cake. It's at Duke of London in Brentford. And here, just as you arrive, was that lovely Morris Traveller Mercedes SL. Oh, what's this? A gorgeous Range Rover Vogue and a Jaguar F-Type. I like this Vogue. Now, normally they should have these triple spoke alloys that are body coloured, but actually I quite like these wheels. They're a little bit naughty, but quite fun. And they really work. Wait a minute, Model 3 Tesla. It's not your day. Ooh, look at the Ferrari. I think it's 512 BB. You can correct me if I'm wrong. And it, normally they're in red, but it looks really great in this jet black. BMW 3 Series, Mercedes SLC. Mmm, look at those naughty low riding wheels. <gasps> Ooh, and that leather interior. All the windows wind down and there's no B pillar. It really does look good. Oh, hello, Alfa Romeo Julia. Look at that. Beautiful Porsche 928 S2 and a Maserati Gran Turismo. I really like them. Very lovely. And here's one they produced earlier, a Maserati Indy in a really gorgeous baby blue. Ooh, look at that cream leather interior, the wood rim steering wheel and a very plain ordinary clock. In the mid 80s, the Maserati by turbos all came with a La Salle clock that was sort of trident shaped, slightly too much. And this beautiful hatchback on the Indy. It's very concept car. Oh, here's an original Julia. And look, here is a BMW 2002 um, Cabriolet. It may be a Bauer conversion, I think. It looks really neat. And there's something delightfully mid-70s about that. Love it. Hello, it's Julia Sport. Wanda had a Honda. Priscilla had a Porsche. Stephanie Lee's got a PhD and drives a cult, of course. Rather misogynistic advert, but I do love a cult. And here's the Sapporo. And so it's just like the advert come to life. I was delighted to see it. Possibly it's one of my favorite cars of the day because it's the least expected. It just looks so neat. It's very beautifully styled. I think the proportions are really good. Look at that, a bit like the Mercedes. There's no B pillar. The winds all wind down. And look at that gorgeous checked interior. There's quite a lot of red, but I think it's alleviated with that silver on the dash. Ah, uh, I love those quad headlamps. Oh, hello, TBR Tuscan. Come back to you. Back to that interior. Look at it. It's sort of a very, well, it looks almost brown, but it's very reddish brown with uh, just yum. Electric windows. All round, I think. And four headrests, equal luxury. We need to have one more look. Look, it is beautifully styled. Now over to the Tuscan. This was a big move for TVR. They started making their own engines, the Speed 6. Previously, they'd always been using Rover V8s, but now they started making their own. And unlike other car makers, they started making bespoke hand-milled parts rather than Ford switches here and there. It really makes a difference. Hello, Porsche 928 S2. You look great. All that concept car realness. I really love them. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Here's another remarkable car, the Citroen Dias. And oh, hello, Ford Sierra XR4i. Look at that biplane spoiler. I love it. Oh, look at those red accents. Ah, oh, those big lights. I really like it. I'm so excited to see it. Look, so many 80s details. Look at that weird sort of triple light on the side but look at those those stripes striations what do you call them and if you can see it but i don't think you can the xr4 logo in that last three quarter light window that spoiler just like the probe concept car that came before and for headrest equal luxury oh my goodness a ferrari dino now they originally called Dino because it was a brand on its own, but this one is must be a later car because it's badged Ferrari, which they just weren't. Wow, a low riding Mercedes, two eighty SE, four point five. Look at that red leather interior, that Bakelite steering wheel. Oh, and that full length Webasto sunroof. It really 
really does look nice. Oh, more cars with no B pillar. This time the Jaguar XJC. Again, beautiful red leather interior with an probably old fashioned white or Windsor white. I forget what they call it, the exterior, but that's really good. And here is Aunt Pecky G in her Ford Model A boat tail 1930 Speedster. Alongside her is our host, Merlin, Duke of London. Thank you, Peggy G. That is quite something. Speaking of something, look at this. It is the Lotus Esprit Turbo. It's just like the model in For Your Eyes Only, the Bond movie, uh, except that was red, whereas this is a much, well, to my eyes, much lovelier blue. Who knows what colour blue that is? Royal blue, fancy blue, yummy blue. Let's call it yummy blue. Look at the interior. Ooh. Blue interior too. And I was lucky enough to chat to the owner who let me have a look inside. So I turned a corner, I was bowled over to see this beautiful V12 at Jaguar XJS. It was immaculate look. Cream leather interior, you know, do you love a light interior? Oh, it looked lovely. Ooh, spindly gear lever is gonna set you off some people, but it really looks good. To think it was so scandalous after the E-Type. I don't know, it's really aged very beautifully. Staying British, look at that Aston Martin Vantage. Wait a minute, what's this red beauty? <gasps> it's a Fiat 124 Sport Coupe. These are really, really, really rare in the UK. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen one before. Um, it looks like it's left-hand drive, so maybe it's been saved from the Italians. <laughs> And, um, wow, it's very sort of squared off. It wasn't quite as sporty as the sport label would suggest, but it's a very lovely coupe. It has a hint of Triumph Toledo to its shape, actually, though I think the Triumph Toledo is better proportioned. Comment in anger below <laughs> if you need to. But, um, yeah. And look, moving to the US of A, look at that Mustang. Look at that colour. <gasps> really gorge. Oh, back to the interior of the Fiat. Look, it's all sort of black vinyl, but it looks very smart with the wood rimmed steering wheel. It does look very neat indeed. Back to the US of A, look at this Corvette. It's a C2 Stingray. It has a 1963 model because it's got that split rear window, which was only that one year they did that. So is it Corvette or Mustang? Oh, it has to be the Corvette, surely. Oh, but the color of that Mustang. Mm, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, I think I'll go Stingray. How about you? Back to Britain. Look at the Aston. Look at the Jaguar. Uh, that V12 creaminess. And look, it's Bobby Ewing in the back in his Mercedes SL. I love them. The fun thing with these events is when the cars start to leave because you get to see them moving, which is always a treat. Look at the goddess. <laughs> and now it's the Mustang. And now for something entirely different, the Morgan three-wheeler. It's a modern reinterpretation of a 1930s car. It's a tricycle. It's really fun, really curious. Look, these bits where you can clip panniers on the side, I think. And look at that real light detail. The details are beautifully done. And every car looks better with a handsome model in it. Here is at a mac and cheese. Merlin, Duke of London's brother, modeling the car. I wouldn't take a coffee in there, but maybe that's where I made that mistake of calling it coffee and cake instead of classic and cake. And this is a classic. 
Bye bye to ATSC. Listen to that 4.5. And bye bye 2002 Turing. Look at that orange. Always check the car park. And it's goodbye to my Lotus Esprit Turbo. What a treat you were. Now here's a real treat. It's a Jaguar E-Type Reborn, I do believe. Continuation of the original module. Beautiful. Well, today was quite a Jag fest. The XJC looking really smart. But that is the Aston Martin VA Vantage we hear. And goodbye, lovely Colt Sapporo. Ciao, Tuscan. Now, the Jaguar XJS, it is beautiful. What do we think, looking at it again, having just seen that E-Type? I think it is beautiful in its own right. It was a shock at the time, but unique. I love a caddy. Look at it. Amazing. Bikes and Mustang. This Mustang is in bullet spec. Fresh from the movie. It is Wonderful. Look at that green. <gasps> I love it. There you are, parky bag man. <laughs> Back to the bullet. V8 Indy. Let me know what was your favourite. I think it might be the Esprit, it might be the XJS, or maybe it's that Mitsubishi, but I've loved being here. Hang on, wait for little Mr. Frog Eye Sprite. And if you enjoyed this video, please comment, share, like, and do subscribe. Until next time.